one. We didn't go to bed until two o'clock. I didn't think I was gonna be able to sleep and I thought I wasn't tired because I was nervous, but as soon as I hit the pillow, I crashed. Okay, it's about 6.15 and they moved us up to the second floor and I'm waiting for to be seen now, I guess. Okay, I'm about to go into surgery. I have my IV. This thing is freaking disgusting and scary and it already hurts. Oh. And I'm really nervous and In your stockings? <laughs> Pull it up. Pull it up. What do you mean? To your thighs. So she's in recovery. Did you dream? <laughs> It's 12.30 right now. We've been here since 7.30. I've been freaking... So... I have your x-rays. Do you? Have you seen them? Of after? Mm-hmm. They look cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so they gave me like a block? A numbing thing? Oh, they gave it to you? I couldn't see it. They were like looking at monitor and somebody was like sticking me with the needle at the same time like, trying to inject me so like um, I have no feeling for my neck yeah all the way down on my hand your doctor said like later on tonight you may wake up at like two in the morning and it may be in pain okay so I just spoke with my doctor he told me that well first of all right before I went into surgery the anesthesiologist you can get in the clip <laughs> get in the clip in <laughs> a second because you're funny. Because you're so loopy. The anesthesiologist said she walked in and she was like, So, I'm giving you a big glass of wine for breakfast. I was like, Perfect. Well, after that, I don't remember anything at all. I don't remember me kissing you or saying I love you. Was I awake? Yes, you were awake. You immediately felt it. Did I say I love you back? Yeah. That means I really love you. The doctor said that I put myself onto the operating table or I scooped myself over. I don't remember any of it. The only thing I remember is waking up, giving me the shot in my neck that makes me numb everywhere. Well, the doctor specifically came back and said that my bones were very strong. He said they were hard to drill into. I'm flexing right now, but not really. <laughs> you really didn't dream? You just went to sleep and woke up? Yeah. And it was done? Yeah. Was it weird? Yes, was it weird sleep. waking up? So for were you scared when you woke up? I'm glad I woke up. I woke up and I was like, thank God. Were you wondering where I was when you woke up? Yeah, I asked about, I asked for you like five times. They kept telling you no? Well, they kept telling me? Well, because I think I was in a room that... You were in a room with like a bunch of in. other people. Like y'all were in a recovery, yeah. Mm -hmm. My mouth is so dry. I need ice chips. She's been so loopy, it's so funny. No, she's chewing ice. ice or... And she's going. <laughs> and then she fell asleep in the middle of chewing her ice. And then she woke up. And she's like, <laughs> mm. So, I mean, I think, I think it'd be okay. Yeah, do it. Hey guys, so I am in bed right now. Um, this is just after surgery, the actually morning after. What time is it? I think it's like noon. Look at this huge, I'm supposed to start moving my arm, but I'm scared. This huge pillow covering my, where are they? cut me open they said that all my stitches were underneath they said that all my stitches are underneath my skin and they're just gonna dissolve so I look like a hot mess but 
I'm just doing this raw. I don't even care. So last night was very, very bad for me. So thinking about it, I was on so many pain meds and medicine. Like before I went in, they gave me some relaxation medicine. When they <clears throat> gave me that relaxation medicine, I don't remember a single thing. And of course they gave me anesthesia. They had to give me stuff for my asthma. And then, and then I had like a, you know, like an electrolyte drip the whole time during my surgery. They were giving me oxygen during my surgery. Then after the surgery, they gave me a nerve block in my neck, the nausea medicine. Man, so when I got home, I was feeling like crap. I had the biggest headache ever, and I was thinking maybe it was like a, a medication hangover. I don't really know. I don't take a lot of medicine to begin with. So, and then my arm was, I could not move my arm at all. I was like, I could not move my fingertips after a while, and this morning I woke up and I was like, I can move, like I have function again. I threw up several times, I was so nauseous. I tried eating some fruit, I tried eating some crackers, I couldn't hold it down. So, last night was pretty hard. But this morning I've been able to eat some crackers, I ate half a banana, um, so I'm doing okay, I'm doing better, and I have function in my arm. I'm supposed to move my arm today, but like I'm, like I'm really scared. Oh, also, I have gotten some love on all of my social media outlets and I love it so much. Look at all of these super sweet Snapchats. Oh, so nice. And it's not even Ash Chat Monday. <laughs> my Snapchat doesn't really get that full all the time except for Ash Chat Monday and then I guess today. So I feel so loved. Thanks everybody for loving me. So day one, road to recovery. I've been a pretty useless human today. You mean every day? So I'm a useless human? Just kidding. I don't have any... I was just about to say how good you were, but I'm not going to say that after all. I don't all. have any big spoons to get juice. Yeah, that might be in there. Over here. Derek made me homemade chicken noodle soup. Wait. Since I can't mm. eat anything. My mama taught me. Mm, is that for me? That's good. That's your bowl. Hey guys, so road to recovery day two. Look, I'm lifting up my hand. Lala. I am spending the day with the birthday girl, Andrea. I'm trying to man up and, or woman up and do some things with her. But I got some cool packages. I got two packages in the mail, but the one package that I was really looking forward to was a package of makeup brushes, and somebody freaking stole it from my doorstep. So pissed off, assholes, whoever took it. So I asked the company if they could send me another one, so we'll see how that goes, but I don't know. First box I got is, I don't think, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but I'll try, it's fine. It's from Legendary Foods. I think they just have like specialty nuts. So this one is, huh, specialty nuts. They have cheddar bacon almonds and tangy ranch almonds. And this is what I'm excited about. They have pecan pie raw almond butter with pecan pieces. So it's like nut butter and cashew butter with blueberry. So that's pretty cool. It's a company called Shades Monthly, and you can order sunglasses. I already took them out. I wanted to see them. You can order sunglasses. Got a monthly subscription, so. Let me take off my aviators and put on another pair of aviators for you. What do you think? So we're actually right now gonna go, we're jamming 80s music because. We're 80s babies. Hell yeah, it's amazing. I'm gonna try and go get a haircut because my hair is very nappy right now. Um, Derek doesn't think I should get a haircut because he doesn't want any hair to fall on this, but you know, they, they cover you completely, so I'm gonna ask him to be extra careful. How's it going? It hurt, it feels good. Does it? And I'm <laughs> Yay. First time in like three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so it was well worth it. <laughs> well, 
feels so good. I take care of you. Okay. This, from, this is Victoria. She's from New York. <laughs> so long I have to stand up in the chair <laughs> or out of the chair. And then there's her shoulder pad. Um, I'm back to make <laughs> yeah, it looks so good. Girl, yes, it's still long. Let's see. <laughs> 